the truth about what really happened to Chinese Bardot Nancy Kwan. Nancy Kwan was born on May 19, 1939, in Hong Kong, to Marquita Scott, an English-Scottish model, and Kwan Wing Hong, a Cambridge-educated Chinese architect. She has an older brother, Ka Kyung, and five younger half-siblings. Her parents divorced when she was two years old. During World War II, her father fled Hong Kong, 1941, with his servants carrying his two children in wicker baskets. They stayed in western China for five years and returned only after the war was over. Growing up in affluent surroundings, Quan studied at the Marinol Convent School. Interested in sports since childhood, she learned Tai Chi and horseback riding. At 12, Quan was enrolled at the Kingsmore School, Glossop, England. She learned all dance forms at a ballet school in Manchester. After graduation, she joined the Royal Ballet School, London and studied and performed ballet for four years, procuring a ballet teaching certificate. While holidaying in Hong Kong, Quan was spotted by Hollywood producer Ray Stark, who was looking for an Asian Chinese actor for the film adaption of the popular Broadway play The World of Susie Wong. Although she did not have any prior acting experience, Quan was called for a screen test. The test did not go very well. However, because of her Eurasian features and also because of the spark Stark had spotted in her, she was considered for the role. Quan was sent to the U.S., where she attended a Hollywood acting school. She was offered a seven-year contract by Stark S7 Arts Productions. Besides Quan, another established actor, France Nguyen, who had successfully portrayed the same role on stage, was being considered for the movie. Quan had a small role in the stage production and was an understudy for the main role. Later, Paramount Studios chose Nguyen for the film role. Disappointed, Quan continued with the stage shows. Nguyen could not be part of the film due to personal issues. Thus, Quan received her first role, The World of Suzy Wong, which was about a free-spirited Hong Kong prostitute, premiered in 1960 and proved to be a major success. Quan was awarded the Golden Globe Award for the Most Promising Newcomer Female in 1961. Quan S. next film was Flower Drum Song, 1961, an adaptation of a hit Broadway musical by Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein II. The role of a nightclub singer and dancer named Linda Lowe gave her ample scope to display her dance skills. The film earned five Academy Award nominations. Soon, Quan appeared in several American, European, and Eurasian films. In the main attraction, 1962, Quan essayed an Italian citrus artist, opposite singer Pat Boone. She appeared in a starring role of an uninhibited Tahitian in the film Tamahine, 1963. After a break, Quan returned as a Chinese-American scientist, Sally Fraser, in the aviation drama Fate is the Hunter, 1964. She also appeared in two comedies. Honeymoon Hotel, 1964, and Drop Dead Darling. Quan then played the leading role of Marjorie Lee, a British secretary, in The Wild Affair, 1965. She starred as Wednesday, opposite Dick Van Dyke, in the hit Disney comedy L.T. Robin Crusoe, USN, 1966. In The Wrecking Crew, 1969, Bruce Lee choreographed the martial arts, while Quan appeared opposite Dean Martin. Following this, she worked in the Far East action movie The Corrupt Ones, opposite Robert Stack, and the TV series Hawaii Five-0, opposite Jack Lord. In The Western McMasters, 1970, she played a Native American woman named Robin. In 1970, Quan left Hollywood to be with her critically ill father and stayed there for a decade. In Hong Kong, she formed her company, Nancy Kwan Films, and appeared in the TV series Kung Fu and Fantasy Island. She also appeared in some action films. Spring Comes Not Again was her first Chinese-language film. Kwan met producer-director Norbert Meisel, her future husband, 
during the shooting of the movie Fear. In 1979, she returned to Hollywood and subsequently appeared in indie films such as Walking the Edge, 1985, and Night Children, 1989. She also appeared on the TV shows Noble House, 1988, and Dragon. The Bruce Lee Story, 1993. Kwan worked as a lead in stage productions such as Love Letters, Who S Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and Arthur Layla. She has provided voice for several audiobooks, such as Catherine, Red Azalea, When Heaven and Earth Changed Places. She produced Loose Woman with No Face, 1993, a film about Eurasians, which was written and directed by her, too. She has appeared in infomercials of Oriental Pearl Cream. Thanks for watching and goodbye.